Hi, this is Jen from Hello Filtai. And with that question, if I am in favor of the proposed amendment for the penalty for spreading fake news in Taiwan, I should say that I am in favor, but I want to specifically express my opinion on what should be considered as fake news. For me, if someone, any entity, any media, whether online or on television, if you are spreading fake news, you should subject to penalty because you are carrying a huge responsibility, not only for yourself, but for the people in the whole country. So if we talk about fake news, it must be about a certain happening in a country and the one doing the report or writing an article made a twisted fact about it. So because of twisting a fact, that person, that media, that television should suffer from penalty. Because when you put a wrong information and feeding it to the public, that's already lying. And I think as a journalist, as a person, involved into news casting you should be giving only the facts no addition no subtraction it should be only the fact that's why we always say state the fact but as i've read the news from taiwannews.com there was this proposal that from fake news it must be changed to rumor now i would like to disagree to that because if you say rumor then everyone should be given a penalty. In fact, their entertainment business, the income and they're earning from a lot of rumors. So maybe the celebrities would be very happy about it, but with those earning from that, I don't think they would agree. If they're gonna have this amendment, if they're gonna have this proposal, first, they should draft specifically what are those uh, provisions what are those uh, information that must be considered as not tolerable, a violation, and the penalty itself? And second, what are those entities that must be involved in this? Does it apply to a person? Does it apply to an institution, a media company, a television, a radio, or even social media? So there are a lot of things to discuss about this, and I don't think the Taiwanese would agree 100% if they're gonna do this because there are a lot of vloggers youtubers and bloggers here in Taiwan so I guess this proposal is good if it refers to stop spreading fake news because everyone must be let's say unhappy if they are receiving fake news right most especially if it's from the mainstream media so again my message is, I agree that there must be a strong penalty for spreading fake news, but they must try to draft fair or just law that specifies what exactly is considered fake news and what is rumor. Because if you say rumor and you want to give that person a penalty for spreading rumor, you must be very careful on what kind of rumor is that because in that case, everyone is guilty. Okay, so I think that's all I can say and thank you guys. I'd be willing to ch check on this news because this is also very important for me as a blogger and as a YouTuber. Okay, thank you.